Here is question 3a part 2. So we've got the same information before with our mean and standard deviation. Um, so I haven't repeated that one here, but basically we've got our mean of 310 grams with our standard deviation of 4.5. Now the question here has been given and it talks about the label tells us that the contents weigh 300 grams and it says bottles that contain less than 300 grams are considered to be underweight. And we want to know what percentage of bottles are underweight. So underweight meaning under 300. So there's my 300. And less than 300, I'm going to shade in the area below that. Okay, so that's the probability I'm trying to find. So I need to go to my graphics calculator. And I'm going to go to the NCD mode. And I need to think about what is the lower and the upper values that I'm going to enter in my calculator. So remember here is the number line. Zero is down here somewhere. Um, we, in fact, that tail is going to continue on forever. So we're going to choose a lower bound of zero. And as I go along my number line, the largest value I get to is a value of 300. So that means my upper value is 300. So then I'm going to tell the calculator to, cal to calculate this for me and it'll come back with a probability of 0 0.01313. If you leave your answer like that, you won't get the mark because the question explicitly says what percentage. So multiply that by 100 and that's going to give you 1.3%. So 1.3% of bottles are going to be expected to be underweight.